how to slice shapes and pass in Illustrator. I'm using CC220, but you can do 219, 218, etc. Create a pass, very basic pass. I'm going to use the curvature tool, but you could use pen tool, etc. I'm going to split it or slice it into multiple paths, which you can then recolor and use with different effects, etc. Using three methods. First one, the eraser tool. Find the eraser tool in the tools panel. Now, double click the icon when you've selected that. And that will bring up a panel. What you can do, you can set the value to, for the size to five or six points. But you can set it also to zero. You can also hold the shift key down to create a straight slice. So just go across it. It doesn't need to be selected the path. You can see straight away, you can just go straight across it and you can slice the path. And you can repeat that over and over again. So you can just go to another path of the path and then go across and slice. Now, I'm holding the shift down here. One thing with the shift does seem to create a slight lag in the cut. But you can go straight across and then again, got another slice. You can also use other tools. I'm going to show you the next one, which is the knife tool. So I'm just going to put it all back together again now. Back to the same path. So go back to the tools panel. And there's the knife tool. And that's just underneath the eraser tool. Just down there. Now you'd think the scissor tool would do it. It doesn't. Now with the knife tool, just do exactly the same. You can just go across, drag across, but there's no size setting. So it just cuts across and there's also no shift feature. But it is a bit quicker. You can see it, you, when you draw across, it's much faster than the erase tool. Erase tool does seem to take a little bit of time. But you can create multiple cuts across the image, different angles, different ways. And once you've done that, you can split the path apart and then recolor the individual parts. I'm just going to make them blue, green, red, etc. So that's it. That's using the knife tool. And there is another method what you can use. You can use a path. So I'm just going to use one path. You could use a rectangle, star, but I'm going to use a circle. You just drag across that path. You create the circle, and now it's on top of the original path. What you can do is go to Object, Path, and Divide Objects Below. Select that. Now you'll notice the circle has vanished, but you've got now a divide. So it's a great way of creating, obviously, if you use a rectangle, you can create a nice straight line. But you've got a nice curve there in your split or slice. And again, you can recolor that. So that's it. Three methods of slicing a design. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to Graphic Extra's channel. Always adding new tutorials about Illustrator, etc. A comment or two, always great. A dislike or like. Thank you much.